As we first reported here on I-24 News this week, a special delegation from Pakistan is visiting Israel this week, a country with which the Jewish state has no diplomatic relations. Organized by the Israeli NGO Sharaka, the goal of the trip is to promote peacemaking efforts, build positive understanding and help encourage Pakistan-Israel relations. The group consists of prominent Pakistani American leaders and a number of leading Pakistani journalists and religious figures. Joining me now from Jerusalem is a member of the delegation, Dr. Nassim Ashraf, former Pakistan cabinet minister and former chair of the Pakistani cricket board. Dr. Ashraf, welcome to Israel, welcome, welcome to our show and thank you for being with us. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure being here. Sir, first I would like to hear your impressions from your time in Israel so far. What stood out for you? Has anything surprised you on this visit? Well, we are very thankful to Sharaka for giving us this opportunity to visit Israel. And it has been a tremendous experience for all of us. We have learned so much. And not only that, we have been received most warmly um, with everybody on the street, to the offices, to the ministries. We had the great honor of uh, uh, meeting the president today, who received us with great warmth and uh, gracious hospitality. So our presence in the last few days that we have spent here has been a very enriching and a very happy experience for us. And we're very grateful to our hosts at Sharaka for giving us this opportunity. And doctor, this visit is of course quite unusual as Israel and Pakistan do not have diplomatic ties. Tell me what did other people had to say when they heard you're making this visit to Israel or once they heard that you're already here? What are the reactions like in Pakistan? I think the overwhelming reaction from what I've been getting feedback is very positive. Of course, there will always be some people who uh, are criticize and who are negative, but I think in general the, the response is very positive because people to people, we, we need to have these exchanges to be able to promote understanding and to promote peace. So the reaction is quite positive. And as someone who served in the Pakistani government and who knows your country so well, what can we expect in terms of the future of relations between the two countries? Can they develop into full diplomatic ties in the future? I don't see why not, but I think it will be also directly linked to the resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Pakistan, as you know, officially stands by its uh, commitment to have the Palestinians get their rights and to have the Palestinian state or whatever is decided, but that's between Israel and Palestine. Uh, Pakistan wants to have relations, but at the same time, Pakistan has uh, consistently supported the, uh, the Palestinian issue and its position vis-a-vis -vis the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Yes, and of course, at least for Israel, there is also a strong um, military cooperation interest here. Pakistan, of course, a country with nuclear capabilities, also a country that shares a long border with Iran. Uh, talk to us about the prospect of those relations. Well, I think, first of all, let me clarify one position. Pakistan's nuclear arsenal and nuclear assets have absolutely nothing to do and are of no threat to Israel. Pakistan's nuclear assets are a defensive deterrent uh, with, against India because India detonated the bomb first and then Pakistan had to uh, develop a defensive uh, asset of nuclear uh, assets that to defend itself. So it's a nuclear deterrent against India and it's not at all directed at anyone else, uh, least of all Israel. I think um, in terms of um, the border, I, the, the question was about Pakistan relations with Iran or Iran's relations with Israel. Uh, I'm speaking about the special interest that Israel has with Pakistan, considering that it does share a border with Iran. 
Yeah, I think you're right. But that has nothing, I don't think that has a, is a factor in the commutation uh, uh, or of any threat to Israel. Pakistan would like actually to have good relations with everyone, and including uh, Israel, but uh, Pakistan sharing a border and having anything to do with the nuclear assets has absolutely no relevance to Israel. I can assure you that Pakistan's nuclear assets are completely safe and that they are only as a defensive deterrent, as I said earlier, vis-a-vis uh, -vis India. Dr. Nassim Ashraf, former Pakistani cabinet minister and former chair of the Pakistani cricket board, we thank you so much for being with us this evening and welcome to Israel once again. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here.